What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. And boy, do we have a treat in store for us today. We've got a buffet of brand new mods to enjoy from the track, a multi layout circuit, Paul Ricard, Omer the French GP, an absolutely fabulous new 90s Formula One mod, and updated AI driver names from the 2022 F1 roster. I've gotten what feels like thousands of requests to do more Wreckfest F1 stuff, but the older mod got KO'd and DMCA'd and taken down, so it feels good to finally be back. And without any further delay, let's let her rip and here we go lights out on the 90s f1 cars here in wreckfest for the very first time across the line and i'm getting welcomed in with a brake test here from bottas and the entire line and a swipe from lewis there he's gonna lead himself right to the wall through a huge will we go everyone coming across the track and i'm gonna miss the corner down here no man there you go now i'm the one coming across the track taking shots and i don't know where i'm going and i'm trying to turn around and i'm taking down ferrari as an organization here as a whole we're getting them all out here Another tragic day at the races for Ferrari. Nothing new. And I've installed like a mid-race IndyCar upgrade to the wing. And straight from Marinello and right up the gearbox of Vettel we go for a drag race through the cones. Cone check just about lost it on the curb. Show us the way, Seb. Oh, oh my God. What is this contraption down here? What the hell? Who puts a minefield at the end of a straightaway? The Ferraris are still flying over here. Joe's doing the mid-air twist. I'm getting packed. This is absolutely disgraceful. We gotta get rid of these things, man. We gotta outlaw Sausage Curbs once and for all out here. I just outlawed Alonso's wing right off the front of his car. That is a real sad sight. So is Gasly getting stuck on the curb. Get good, dude. Get through it. It's not that hard. Latifi up here getting wide. We got him getting wild down here in the last corner. Mick Schumacher getting interested. George Russell getting his wheel knocked off with absolutely no force at all. Getting hooked by Mick and taken out. What do we got? F1 damage on. That was barely anything. Well, in the replay booth after one race, I got to wipe the sweat from my forehead. All right, this is some fast-paced, high-action right here, man. These F1 cars are giving me about all I can handle already. This might be a wild one. I don't know if my heart can take this. You know what else my heart can't take? Getting removed from existence by Mick Schumacher off the world's slightest contact. Come on, game. This car looks fine. Come on, man. I don't know, maybe the middle is the best place to be here on the start. It sure is an Ocon side pod, or Lando's, or the conga line straight to the wall, or the wheel I just took to the head. No halo, no bueno. Look at the position we're in here. We might need a tarp. Ah, we can walk it off, but I don't think I can say the same thing about Pierre Gasly. He's looking a little rough back there. And then another note to self down here. Don't go on any more Space Force training missions if you can help it. Try to minimize those. Not everybody else is, as you can see. And Charles Leclerc is still going to somehow seek me out. And if I'm not wrecking into Ferraris, I'm hitting the Ferrari drivers. Well, the furiously bad day for Ferrari continues early here, and it got off to another bad start with the conga line of death, leading about three or four of us right here to our almost final resting spot. I am lucky I got out of this alive with my head and neck compressed up against the wall like that. And then following in from behind here into what is undoubtedly this track's danger zone. Every track has one, and this one is undoubtedly the winner so far, and that is a lot of wheels going flying off. The middle hasn't exactly proved itself yet, but I am going to try it again, Lando. Damn you, no. We're going right back to the same wall again. Act two, same scene, pushing Alonso through. That's an act of a champion. Oh, Yuki, where you coming from? Where you going, dude? One of my wheels just disappeared. It just vanished. Well, this is fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the turning radius on this bad boy now. We're doing just fine. Thank you, Lewis. Just when I was back on track, Lewis is going to push me over into the curbs and finish me off. Looking at the replay of our seemingly scheduled turn one wreck. Does this count as turn one? Is that a turn one meme? You be the judge. You let me know down below. And by the way, I, as much as I love this track, this is a fantastic track mod. You gotta give me some replay cameras built into this thing because I'm doing it all myself and I'm having to capture me ripping wheels off and getting wheels ripped off. And unfortunately, it's going well. And this is no Michael Schumacher driving with three wheels Ferrari. This thing fell off a cliff handling wise once that left. The wall actually set us just enough straight for Lewis Hamilton to body me back out of the way and get me killed on the curb. Can I have the middle please? Oh, oh, hey, oh, ah, well, Lando, there's your payback and here's mine. There we go, right into the wall. You know, it's a good start when I have to turn to a robot on the mic. That's, oh, they're gonna get me again. Oh my God. We got trouble around the corner. We got a pack. We got problems right here. We got Bottas backwards. We got everybody getting taken out. They just paved the lane for me. I think I've got the hang of this corner now. Oh, somebody sure does it up here in front of me. Oh, what? We barely clip here. Guys, he's gonna dump me. He turns me. Oh, we turned him. I'll run this damn thing in reverse if I have to. I've done it before. I will do it again, but not today. 
golly. Why do we gotta take my wheels? The good thing about this one is I can actually turn it. It does do a little shifting from side to side, so that's gotta count for something. Let's see if we can get through the chicane for the first time today. <laughs> no, we cannot. We missed it the other way this time, and I'm getting shots while I'm in the air, and I'm dead. That's neat. So we're just gonna sit right here for a second and observe the natural wildlife of the area like this is National Geographic, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this documentary on absolute morons behind the wheel of overpowered machines that cost millions of dollars. Congratulate. Oh, what is that guy did it backwards? That was actually sick and his wheel fell off right at the end. Oh, man, we got a twister going on back there. See, this is the camera we need. I, I shouldn't even do races. I'll just watch this. This part actually annoys me because we barely, it must have been five pixels overlapped with Pierre Gasly. My wheel just goes whoop, flying off. This is what I'm talking about when I want the middle. Here we go. That's wholesale gains right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am amazing until I'm not and I'm going to miss the corner. <laughs> I actually technically did miss the corner, but I, I I did some kind of acrobatic feat right there with Danny Rick. That was that was remarkable. We're going to have to see a replay of that at a later date and time, but I am in fourth. After all of that, I did a pirouette through the air to make it through that corner, and I am in fourth, and I am drafting with Latifi. If only there was draft. Please, Bugbear, I am begging you. Please, please give me the draft. I would win so many more races. Latifi's going for a ride. I'm getting packed into one as well. Thank you, whoever that was behind me. I greatly appreciate that. I stuck the landing. Charles is trying to kill me because he's impressed. He's like, how are you alive? How is this possible? Charles, you and I are going to find ourselves in a blood feud if we keep this up and me and Seb back at it again. Already lost the drag race. Oh, that better not make me have to reset back there. All right, we're good. I'm going to be the next one getting stuck on the curb if we're not careful. Getting all wheels off the ground there. Hitting signs 80 feet off the track. That's just not a good sign. Literally, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm going to miss this corner again. What is wrong with me? There's literally something. Oh, I'm dead. Hang on a minute. I might be doing just fine considering what I just saw out of the corner of my eye, which is basically that on replay. We got McLarens going through there, not knowing how to handle anything. They can't even handle their own lives on corner exit. What are we doing? Not today, Mr. Minefield. Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. How do I do that? How do I do that every time? I, I figure out a way to crash. Then the next time through, I figure out a way to avoid the crash and find a new crash while trying to avoid the first crash. Speaking of crashes, I don't know what the hell's going on up here with this pack of three, but Magnuson, he got bodied right out of it. I'm going to body him again here. So we're in another little blood feud, and he's going to send it right up here. You going to do it again? You're going to do it? I knew you couldn't resist the temptation. I knew it. I could see it written all over K-Mag, and I see a hell of a finished foreman up here in front of us. Danny Rick is going to get the dub after a drag race there, and we're going to hold on for the podium. What a sequence of events this is. We somehow days of thunder ourselves right through the middle of that, then miss the corner and do a flip over the eventual race winner, Danny Rick, in beautiful fashion. Stuck the landing. Down here, I had it figured out until some Ferrari on Ferrari violence developed and I go for a flip and a half. And once again, we stick the landing in absolutely fantastic fashion. Sometimes when you're good, you're good. I'm amazed this didn't end in a dub. There was plenty of more fighting to go on here. Me and K-Mag getting into it, just bodying him from off the track. He tries to get me back once, twice, no dice. And that's going to take us to the line. I don't even need the middle line. If this one's good enough for Alonso, it's good enough for me. And he's bodying me off into the painted crap. And that might have actually worked out until it absolutely did not. Oh, this might work out unless it makes me reset, which it is. That is a real crying shame. And that's going to put me right back here with Alonso and a pack of animals who are indeed running me off the track. Alonso, you're supposed to be helping me, man. Here I had you painted as trying to save me. And here you are, you've done nothing but take me down. Alonso, I swear on the Indy 500, if you try to take me out, there he goes, he did it. Your engines are cursed forever. There you go, you fight, you did it. There you go, K-Mag, I'm sending him on a ride. I'm sending myself on one, hold on. Oh, I bounce off K-Mag to stop the roll. I had the actual kind of somewhat late assist. And Max Verstappen in a Ferrari behind me is making my life way more difficult than it needs to be, or is he? Is it actually Joe? One, you Joe actual hero of the people just bodied us both and he's taken off and max is too wait a minute i'm getting left behind here what is this i just got put to absolute shame right there by my ferrari compatriots this is not okay this is not acceptable i gotta get the cone check and i gotta sell out in this corner down here i gotta go for it i went way too far for it one day i'm gonna make this corner one day it will happen not today but we'll probably be back because this track has 8,000 layouts. So when we come back, 
We will do it. Hey, look, we actually got Carlos Sainz Jr. in a Ferrari. Look at the absolute scenes. This game knows too much. What do I always tell you? Leaders look like they're choking it down here on the minefield, and boy, are they ever. Everybody's wrecking. That puts us in second with Lando Norris. Oh, this is a perfect final lap battle here with just a handful of quarters to go. A man that I have actually played Wreckfest with before. He ran me over with a combine harvester and killed me. And now is my chance for revenge, and he's not doing very well. He just blew a wheel off. One of his wheels just disintegrated right here at the end. Kimmy, is that you? And now we're in a drag race to the line, and we're going to snatch him from him by half a car. Give me that dub. What a turn. If you had me winning that race right there, you are a liar because that thing was looking bleak with about half a lap to go. I don't know how we came back from this start or anything else, but we get it done thanks to a little tomfoolery and the always dependable stupidity from the AI. And it all comes down to a horrible bout of luck for Lando and that wheel coming off at the end to get us to that line just ahead of him and that is where we're gonna wrap things up here today thank you everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed that if you did you know what to do hit that like button subscribe for more let me know what you want to see in the future down in the comments and with that i will see you all very soon in the next one have a marvelous day Peace.